Test control. Nutmeg. Acceleration. Rainbow flick. Am I dreaming or is he about to score? Go on, Daniel. Yes. Yes. Yeah! What? No! Time out, hazelnuts. We need to free up half of the gym. Aww. And get out the yoga mats. Time to unwind. What? Let's take a deep breath and and empty your uh. your your mind. Is this a joke? You finally start playing football and some tennis players kick you off your practice space? This is such a great gym. So cool, so fresh. Hashtag authentic. Hashtag? What's that? It's like an expression to describe a situation or talk about your feelings. I use it online when I talk about my life. Hmm, so that was a... Hashtag explanation? <laughs> Hashtag good call. <laughs> <laughs> They're badminton players, Erico. Maple rented them half of the gym so we could buy new jerseys. You got new jerseys? No. Maple had to sell them to fix the roof. The football area is a sacred space, Daniel. But, Erico, we still have lots of space. Today, they take your gym. Tomorrow, what next? Your locker rooms? Your showers? Oh, your squashes. Hashtag eat your vegetables. All it takes is a little compost and a lot of love, you know. How much are they? How much? A little grouchy this morning, are we? Didn't sleep well? Well, you know, they're like kids to me. Do you take credit cards? There you go. Threw in a few extra parsnips for you. I knew it. They leave us no choice. This means war. Oh, no, wait. What about the practice field outside? Mm-mm. It's rabbit season. This means war. Wow! Their scooters are so cool! You'll see how cool they are. Hey! Aren't there any brakes on these things? How am I supposed to sabotage them? I'm sure there's a much better way to send them a message, Erico. Send them a message. <laughs> Great session. We absolutely need to tell the others about it. Hashtag pro tip. Hashtag discovery. Hashtag wicked plan. <laughs> We're so funny. <gasps> There's even street art. This place is amazing. Hashtag urban culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Calm down, Erico. Like Maple always says, words are the bandages for all of life's owies. Advice from Maple? Seriously? Step right up. Come on and get your fair trade cotton bags. <laughs> okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. It's time to break out the heavy artillery. No, Erico. We're not allowed to touch the breakers. Lights out. Hmm? Oh, no! The power's out! Oh! Oh, no! The internet's out! <laughs> That's how it's done. We'll have our gym back in four, three, two... Wait! You know what? Maybe no internet is a good thing. We're always staring at our phones and never talking to each other. Hashtag elephant in the room. It's so true. It's time to look up, to reconnect and talk to each other. Hashtag disconnect. Whose side are you on? <laughs> Is this the chestnuts gym? Yeah, come on in, guys, and take off your shoes. I've got a mango coconut smoothie for Xavier and two vegan cookies. Here! We failed. The gym is almost... 
bears. Don't worry, Eriko. I'm writing them a letter. And you'd better believe I'm not pulling any punches. I didn't want it to come to this, but we've got no choice. Yours sincerely. Sounds a little harsh. I'll put hugs and kisses. <laughs> hey, my letter! I'll give it to him later, I promise. Promise? Promise. But for now, there's only one thing that can save us. Steven. Steven? But why? <laughs> oh, no! Not that, Eriko! I know. It's the nuclear option. But we have no choice. Um, uh, good evening. I'm Steven, but tonight you can call me... Rat Daddy! Oh, no. Please. Rap Daddy, Daddy's home. Look up from your telephone. Dance in your socks at home. Rap Daddy, not afraid to be brash. Rhyme for my family, not for the cash. I do the hip, the hop, the hippity hop. Why, Erico? Why? Sorry, Daniel. It was our only option. We'll get our gym back in. Four. Three. Wait! You know what? It takes a lot of courage to open yourself up like that. Hashtag open heart. Hashtag drop the act. You're right. I've never heard anything so heartfelt. Maybe we should all do the same. Hashtag open heart, Mike! <laughs> it's over, Daniel. We put up a good fight. We should know when to admit defeat. The gym is theirs now. Daniel? Trust me, a good cucurbit, it's always a hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Hey, Daniel, want some carrot cake? No thanks, Mabel. I'm here on behalf of the hazelnuts. There's nowhere left for us to practice. Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, don't worry, Daniel. We'll figure something out. Here we go. A little dusting, move the furniture, and boom, a new field. And let's be creative, Hazelnuts. At least we can't hear them anymore. Hashtag music festival! Aww. We've tried everything, Eriko. Graffiti, Rap Daddy, even my letter didn't work. Your letter? Hmm. Oh, yeah, your letter. You gave it to them, right? Erico? Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to read it to them, whether you like it or not. Never negotiate with the enemy. Of course you don't. You don't even talk to your best friend. <laughs> There's nothing authentic about this gym anymore. Hashtag overrated. Oh! There's a new sports center two blocks from here. And it's in an old fish market. Hashtag freshness. Hashtag authentic. The sewing class, the trampoline area. Wait! Don't go! I haven't paid off my new mixer yet! Stay! I beg you! I ordered a hundred bottles of milk! Soy milk! Yeah! The bicycle polo class, the circus studio. It's okay, Daniel. They're gone. I told you so, Erico. Talking is the solution to all our problems. I didn't believe it, but 
you were right, Daniel. Sometimes, when it comes to fighting a war, the pen is mightier than the sword. Kids, I wanted to say how sorry I am. The allure of money led me astray! Never again will I abandon you! I'm so happy that Maple is back to normal. <laughs> yeah, back to normal. Come on, let's go back to practice. Test control? Nutmeg! Acceleration! Rainbow Flick! Am I dreaming, or is he about to score? Go on, Daniel! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Now this is football. What is that... thing? It's for Maple's creativity workshop. We have to make a film on the theme... If I Met My Idol. What? Your idol is a popsicle stick? <laughs> no, you're my idol. I've also designed the sets, composed the music with my flute, and wait till you see the special effects. No way, Daniel! I didn't turn down Hollywood to end up as a popsicle stick. <laughs> but I like your enthusiasm, so I'll help you make your film. Finish your script. I'll go make some calls. Hi, I'm Daniel Sisu. You're my favorite player, Mr. Platina. Hi, Daniel. Do you want to become a champion? Oh, boy. This is pretty tough. Hey, it's not easy to become a champion. You've got it. Now you're a champion. And we're friends now, too. Erico, I'm finished. There we go. Meet me on set, Erico. Erico? Wow! A huge camera! Wow! People pointing at things! Wow! An all-you-can-eat buffet! I don't care if it's impossible. Do your job and get it done. Ah, I need to go. I'll call you back. Daniel! <laughs> Perfect timing. It took me a while to finish the script, but you'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Now come with me. There's something I need to show you. Hollywood! Whoa! Uh, what's that? Hollywood. You know, movie stars, popcorn, blockbusters. No, no, I know that. I meant that. That's a green screen, Daniel. Your film will all be shot in CGI. Studs of Glory. Studs of Glory? Yeah, that's the new title. Uh, didn't you get my message? But that's not what I said. Don't worry about the small stuff. That's just marketing. I know this isn't your title, but what counts is that this is your story. You're right, Erico. I'll go finish the puppets! A little higher. Over a bit. Perfect! Like looking in a mirror. That leaves only Daniel and Erico superstars, Daniel and Erico on the beach, and Daniel and Erico in ski outfits. And all the supporters. Erico! Erico! Coming for dinner, sweetie? Not right now, Mom! I've got some work to finish! Hollywood. Erico! I finished the puppets! Ah, Daniel, come and see the dailies. In a world without hope, only one man can light up the stadiums. Handsome, intelligent, rich, powerful, and rich. This demigod is called Erico Platana. But that's not what I wrote. I know it's not exactly your story, but what counts is that we have great actors. No, 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 not those. I mean, we're gonna choose a real cast. Uh, didn't get my message. But what about my puppets? Why would we use this Daniel when we could use this Daniel? 
<clears throat> You're the bestest friend there is, Erico. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Thanks, we'll be in touch. And what role are you here for? But Erico, it's me. It's Daniel. <laughs> well, someone's confident. Uh, go on, we're listening. You're the bestest friend there is, Erico. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Could you do it in more of a Daniel way? But I am Daniel! I can't be any more Daniel! <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Thanks, we'll be in touch. Ah -ha! Now that's more like it! <laughs> this evil guy is giving me a hard time. How can I defeat him? I know who can help me. <coughs> Daniel! 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 He who fights may lose, but he who doesn't fight has lost already. You've made me into a dog with a bandana? A telepathic dog with a bandana. Hollywood! No, no, no! Right from the start you haven't done anything I've said! Oh, so that's how it is. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me. Forget it, Erico. I'm going to make the film I want to make. I'm taking back my vision. Hm. Yeah, well, I'll put your name really small in the credits. Spelled wrong! You call that an explosion? You're fired! You call that contouring? You're fired! You call that... Wait, what do you call that again? Pasta salad. You call that pasta salad? You're fired! Huh, who do I need to fire to get a coffee around here? Hey, is anyone there? <laughs> Gary, lights! Wait, didn't I fire him already? Gary, you're fired! I'll show you, Erico. There, two seconds of animation in two days? Oh. Oh, my movie completely stinks! I've got everything, though. 3D, explosions, dinosaurs, romance, ninjas, robots, lasers, stunts, gangsters. What's missing? <laughs> a stadium full of fans will never be louder than the heartbeat of a true friend. The heartbeat of a true friend? Come on, Platana. You can do it. You promised to help me make my movie. Yeah, but I'm Erico Platana. I only think about myself. It's all about me. Yeah, well, that's why you have no friends. Yeah, well, at least I'm not alone in my bedroom talking with popsicle sticks. <gasps> Erico, what are you doing here? You've come to replace me with a dog again? No, no, no. I came uh, to see how your film was doing. Fine. My movie is perfect. Mine too. Perfect. 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 Can I see it? Okay, that was something. We stink. I fired everyone. I ate all the popsicles. Move, Daniel. I'm gonna make this all disappear. Wait, no! It's not all that bad. If we swap the Moto Raptor's triple flip jump with the explosion of the grain silo, we could slot your animation in just after the water ski chase, and, and we, we can, can merge the, the butterfly's, butterfly's dream with, with the, the goodbye scene at the airport. Hollywood!
Friends. I want to fight so bad, Daniel. Wow, dinosaurs! <laughs> Professor Zamizar, you can't be serious! Mr. Black Anna, what a charmer. <laughs> You're very welcome, Daniel. I'm off now to save some other worlds. See you soon. I'm glad we became friends. Well, thank you, Daniel. That was... Uh, uh that was... Uh, I like the bit at the skating rink. Uh, there we go! Let's hear it for Daniel! Right. Now, Tamea will talk to us about her idol, the drummer of the band, Crypti... 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 Uh... Cryptic Insanity. <laughs> Did I tell you about my next screenplay? Two words, modeling clay and time travel. Three words, super great idea. A stadium full of fans will never be louder than the heartbeat of a true friend. <laughs> okay, Daniel, you're in. Nuh-uh. I think he said Larry. Hmm? Ooh. <laughs> hey, don't be a pushover. You're the team captain. It doesn't matter, Erico. My turn will come soon. Practice is over. <laughs> come on, kids. Bibs off and back in the basket. Gross. Will you take care of this for me, Sisu? It totally grosses me out. Sure thing. What, are you gonna shine his cleats for him, too? No, I already did that this morning. <sighs> Just you wait, Blondie. Just you wait. As a name, Platana. Huh? Oh. Did you hear that? <gasps> Larry, you're as white as a sheet. Someone pushed me. Don't worry about it, kiddo. Into the bib basket! <laughs> but they've never even been washed. I wore them as a kid and I'm 50 years old! I smell them in my who would do something like that? See you tomorrow, guys! So, careful, Larry. You've got a bib stuck to your back. Do some passing today? Huh? Uh, no, no, I, uh, I can't. Aww. Wanna warm up together, Tamea? <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. It's almost like they're scared of me. That's not fear. That's respect. They finally understood who's the captain around here. Hmm. I am the team captain. I am the team captain. Ah! Ah! Team captain! Ah! You're a real leader.
leader now. You need to take care of your team. You think so? Yeah. Ask them questions about their families, put your hand on their shoulder when you talk to them. You know, people love that kind of thing. How's your dad doing? Family is so precious. Your cat is so cute, Maya. What's it called again? Pompa? Oh. Here, Maple. It would be a shame if someone stepped on them. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> hey, has someone seen Larry? I hope nothing bad happened to him. See you later! He threatened Pom Pom! This has to stop! Someone needs to do something! <laughs> Please not me, kids! My squashes! My parsnips! My sun jokes! I want to see them grow up! Maple? Is that you? I'm so sorry to bother you, Daniel. Uh. The team had a meeting and, uh... Come on! We've come to a decision and, uh... Speak up! I can't hear you! Sorry to bother you, Daniel, but the team had a meeting and we've come to a decision. We don't want you to come to practice anymore! Not that I'm telling you what to do. Hehe. <laughs> 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 They gave me no choice! Sorry, Daniel! I... I'm off the team? But what did I do wrong? Uh, well, you kind of got carried away with Larry, right, you big bully? But I didn't do anything to Larry. Hmm? Erico? Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, they sure put a lot of pulp in these things here, yep. Erico? Okay, I may have accidentally pushed Larry into the bibs and framed it like you did it. What? That's horrible! Yeah, but now everyone's treating you with respect. Everyone thinks I'm evil! I need to go and apologize right now! Apologizing is for wimps. I worked hard to get you some respect. And how exactly are you going to get your body back if I'm off the team? Hmm? Okay, I didn't think of everything. We need to prove to them that I'm still... a nice guy. Welcome back, Larry. Don't <laughs> worry, Daniel's gone! <clears throat> ah! I'm really sorry about what happened, Larry. So I baked you a cake! Hmm? Aww. Aww. Ooh, now that right there's what I call a beautiful cake. Trust a real cake lover. Hmm. Hmm? The first piece is for you, Larry. I told you chocolate was a better idea. <laughs> Look, I'm mowing the lawn! <laughs> Ooh, now that right there's a good kid. You can trust a guy with a mustache. My squashes! <laughs> My sun jokes! <laughs> Oh, wait, no, that's pretty all right, actually. My parsnips! <laughs> this is our last chance. Are you ready, Erico? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your help. This little guy has a heart of gold. You can trust an old lady. Hmm? It's 
working, Eriko. Come on, we're almost there. Hmm? Ah, my arm! <laughs> it's not even your real arm. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> What you do of a new fan club? I need to change faces and lives. <laughs> you sure can be a drama king. Wow. What are you wearing? This is the only way, Eriko. I need to say goodbye to the hazelnuts and hello to tennis. <gasps> Oh, no. What have I done? Is that you, Daniel? Don't stay there. Come in. Hmm? Let's hear it for Daniel! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! But aren't you scared of me anymore? What you did for the team? I have no words. I forgot they could smell this good. They're way less heavy. Just like 50 years ago. I never thought I'd live to see this day. Hmm? Was this you? I, I don't want to talk about it. It's still too fresh. Welcome back, you big boy. High five! Ah, it's a trap! That's my big bully. Without further ado, let's meet this year's recipients of the Erico Platano Award! Wow! You have an award named after you, Erico? Of course! They even cast my head for the trophy. The nominees are... Martinelli, also known as the Field Thug. Williams, the kneecapper. They're all gangsters? Hey, easy with the labels. And last but not least, Gerald Sorbier, a.k.a. the gangster. He just recently got out of prison. But, Erico, your award is for the dirtiest players in the game. Whatever. People are talking about me. But how can you let your name be associated with that? Believe me, Daniel, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Daniel, what's all that? Don't tell me you're still a fan of Platana. He stands for the worst things in football. Dirty play. Cheating. Not cool. <clears throat> uh, no, not at all. No, wait, it's not what you think. Awkward. Disappointing, Daniel. <clears throat> <laughs> Maya? Awesome. Great assist, Timea. Daniel, we need to talk. You know that everyone is welcome on this team, but this Platana thing of yours is upsetting the balance of the group. But I'm still on the team, right? Mm. Daniel, come here! They're talking about me on TV! Ooh, he did a nasty platana on him. That is not the sportsmanship we like to see. I'm not even playing and they're still talking about me. Awesome, right? Daniel? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Eriko. You'll always be my friend, but you can't be my hero anymore. 
What? I'm not good enough for you anymore, is that it? Hey! Not my hairstyling head! That's collectible! I've been kicked off the hazelnuts because of you. They don't want me on the team anymore. Wait, you've been kicked off the team? How are you gonna practice? How am I gonna get my body back? Uh, okay. Maybe it's time to improve my reputation. Yeah! Don't worry, Eriko. You'll still be famous, but for the right reasons. This is people's reaction when they hear your name. is how we want them to react. Hmm. And how do we do that? So, here's the plan, Eriko. You know what people really like? Ah, uh, money? Dogs! You could adopt one, and I'll teach it how to shake hands, roll over, and fetch the paper. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But it's a great idea. People love dogs. <laughs> and people love people who love dogs. <laughs> okay, animals. I get it. But we'll do it my way. Platana style. What you're hearing is a distress call of the last humpback whale. The already endangered mammal was poisoned while in captivity in footballer Erico Platana's swimming pool. Such cruelty sets a new low for Platana, whose insensitivity borders on the incredible. How was I supposed to know they can't take chlorine? Well, the good news is that at least everyone is talking about me again. We have to improve your reputation. This is a disaster. Maybe I could take the whale skiing or shopping. Hmm. Do you know what people like even more than dogs, Eriko? Ah, uh, money? No, clowns! You want me to adopt a clown? Better than that, we'll hire clowns to put smiles back on people's faces. Okay, clowns. I get it, but we'll do it my way. Platana style. Erico, I'm not so sure about that. Hello! Ah, what is wrong with you? Come on! And then I told John, count me out for the Manafort case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! It's not funny, man. It's not funny. Nuisance complaints are flowing in about the clowns working for Erico Platana. Platana, currently the nation's most hated celebrity, has another scandal on his hands. This isn't going well at all, Erico. But there's one thing that people like even more than dogs, and clowns. Ah, uh, money? No! Clown dogs? No! Mm -hmm. Hey! No! Apologies, Erico. They like apologies. Okay, apologies. I get it, but we'll do it my way. No, Erico, please don't! Platana style. The so-called apologies made by Erico Platana have disgusted people worldwide, sparking international protests and, in some cases, riots. Ugh, what a terrible, terrible human being. Hurricane Platana is still ravaging the coast, causing significant... Oh, yuck. I stepped in Platana. <laughs> Daniel, am I a bad person? Uh, don't worry, Eriko. In a couple of weeks' time, everyone will have forgotten about it. <laughs> Eriko, I've been thinking about that whole clown dog business. It's over, Daniel. My career is finished. A couple of clown dogs won't change that. Say that? It's not over yet! Oh, yeah. Look what comes up when I do an internet search of Platana. 
<sighs> Look at me. I'm finished. I may as well take up tennis. There it go. What is that? It's my old blankie. It comforts me when I feel down. Also serves as a bib. Madonna style! Hmm. Oh, it feels like a bib that's also giving me a hug. This is great, Erico. Yeah, it's fantastic. Erico, that's just what we need. Yeah, a washed up football who can't get off the couch. Yes, that and your snuggle blankie. That's what we have to show people. The truth. That even superstars can feel lonely, sad, like losers. Hey, enough! You want people to pity me now? I'll be a laughing stock. Not a laughing stock, Erico. A human. <laughs> Platana style? No, Erico. Snuggle Blanky style. Some days you feel great. You just want to grab life with both hands. But sometimes you're not at your best. At times like these, you can always count on your Platana. So when you're down and feeling cranky, pull on your Platana Blanky. It may not be chic nor elegant, and some may not want to admit it, but the Platana has managed to find a way into people's hearts. More than a blanket or a garment, the Platana is a new way of life. In a high-speed, ever harsher and relentless world, the Platana is here to remind us that everyone deserves a little tenderness. It's great to see you again, Daniel. You were right about Platana. All in all, he's not such a bad apple. You're right, Daniel. I've never been so famous. And look, people love me. Hey, that's great, Erico. Maybe in the future, the Platana Snuggle Blanky will be even more famous than you. <laughs> in your dreams, Daniel. And to wrap up our visit, you can see here the very first Platana. The original garment was named after its inventor, Erico Platana, who also played a ritual game called football. Dad, what's football? This case is really bugging me, Constable Bamble. No use getting a bee in your bonnet, my dear earwig. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, sweetie. Daniel, I asked you to vacuum the apartment. Oh, yeah. I got it out, but then I got caught up pretending it was an elephant. Ugh, never mind. Brush your teeth, go to the bathroom, and then straight to bed, okay? Mom needs to rest her eyes for five minutes. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Earwig. The culprit was... Hey! They were about to reveal who did it! I bet it was Mrs. Ladybug. Shh! Mom is really tired when she gets home from work. Tired? Tired? From playing squirrel all day? Sorry, but that's not what I call a real job. Hey, I'll have you know Mom works really hard. And she also does the laundry, the shopping, the cleaning. Try being a world champion. Now that's a lot of work. Taking care of your skin, keeping your agent in line, taking selfies. You have no idea. You wouldn't last two hours in Mom's shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get up, Daniel. There we go. It's five in the morning. Mom will be waking up soon. Not today, Daniel. Not today. You unplugged her alarm? Shh. Today, you and I are going to play squirrel. What? But that's mom's job. We can't do that. If your mom can do it, how hard can it be? Hey! What? Hmm, vacation. Cruise ship in the tropics. 
all-inclusive. Well, maybe Mom could use a little time off. Okay then, Eriko, but we've got to nail this. No way are we going to get Mom in any trouble. Don't worry. By day's end, everyone's going to respect Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> Delicious chocolate cocoa squares. A balanced breakfast with vitamins B12, B14, and B17. Hey, what kind of hellhole is this? It's Mom's job. We need to sell all of these boxes of cereal, Erico. People pay to eat this? Yes, Erico. Because the secret to a balanced breakfast is delicious chocolate cocoa squares. <laughs> hey, this ain't so bad. <laughs> Erico, what are you doing? Hmm, you're right. What am I doing? This would taste a lot better with some milk. We're supposed to sell them, not eat them. I'm just having one last bowl. Hang on. They have toys inside? Yeah, but it's not for you, Erico. It's for the kids. Mosquito claw again. Man, it's clown tooth that I need. Hey, pass me another box there, Daniel. That was the last one, Erico. You've cleared the entire shelf. There are none left. Clown tooth. Don't do it. That's stealing. A mosquito claw again. And boom. We get to go home early. Who's the man now? We got fired, Erico. No, we didn't. We quit. Okay, whatever. Hurry up, Erico. We can't be late for Mom's second job. Yeah, her what? An all-you-can-eat seafood buffet for free. You're the host with the most, Captain. Oh, Captain. Hammers, wrenches, nails! Don't miss our half-price sale! Daniel, remind me, what are we doing here again? It's Mom's second job. You have to point the arrow towards the hardware store to attract customers. Uh. Who rocks mics till they bust and swell, Joe? It's just another fact of life for me, really. All around town, people trying to get down. Whoa! I love these guys. I don't know what they're selling, but I'll buy it pronto. Wow! They're good! Finally, a real challenge. <laughs> Hang in there, Daniel. I'll show you how to dance with an arrow. Okay, plan B. We get rid of the competition. But they're just doing their job. Boo! You call that dancing? What's up, you big chicken? You want to dance? Come on, then. Come on! Erico, no! Don't start trouble! What are you scared of? Of a big owl? And a weasel? Who rocks mics till they bust as well, Joe? Did you see the thrashing we gave them? Erico, they kicked our butt and we got fired! Yeah, well, frankly, your mom should thank us. Arrow twirler. What's up with that? I hope things go better at the next job. Wait, there's a next job? Oh, Captain, you're terrible. Look out! Iceberg dead ahead! Iceberg? Iceberg? Happy birthday! birthday. It's a snake. I wanted a tiger. Okay, who's next? I want a dinosaur. I want a pony. And here's a triangle. Okay, another snake. Snakes for everyone. Aww. Erico, at least make an effort. They don't seem very happy. Nah, don't worry. We'll redeem ourselves with the cake. Hurry up, Daniel. We haven't got all day. We need to do a good job. It's Timmy's birthday. Yeah, well, Timmy will have other birthdays. And I'm tired. Happy birthday to you.
Do you smell something burning? Okay, so playing squirrel's not so easy. We got fired again, and Mom's costume is ruined. Yeah, am I glad this day is finally over. Are you kidding? We still need to go cheer on the hockey team, sell tickets at the theme park, walk dogs, prune trees, clean the sewers, and drive this bus. And careful with the paint job. Fired! 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 <sighs> it's just you and me now, Christelle. If we want to get out of here, we gotta stick together. We'll need to find food. <sighs> oh, I can't feel my legs. Mom lost all of her jobs because of us. Empty? No clean clothes? And nobody vacuumed? I told you, Erico. On top of her work, Mom also does the shopping, the cleaning, and the washing. <gasps> you mean she does all that by herself every day? Mm hmm Your mother is a saint, Daniel. But now she's gonna wake up to a filthy apartment. Mm-hmm. With no costume. Mm hmm And no job. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm sure she'll manage. <clears throat> we gotta make this right, huh? Sorry, Christelle. I was just too thirsty. Yeah. We did it, Daniel. We finally did it. Yeah, but there's still the shopping, the cleaning, and the laundry. <sighs> Okay, five minute break and then we'll go make breakfast. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, I slept so well. Oh no! I slept so well! <coughs> oh, it's okay. I'm not late. Wow! Thank you for doing the vacuuming, sweetie. Daniel sees your shoots. And he scores! Oh, nice jacuzzi. Does it come gold-plated? <laughs> so what? So Bada Boom sees that it's getting late and that he has to go to work early tomorrow morning. <gasps> does that just before bedtime. Heroes need their sleep, too. Have you got Mr. Tickles? Mm-hmm. Your water? Mm-hmm. Your kiss? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Good night, sweetie. A little more? A little less? That's it. Good night, Mom. A little more? Mm -hmm. A little less? Hey, that's not nice, Erico. Life isn't nice, Daniel. Aren't you tired of being such a baby? I am not a baby. You sleep in a onesie. They're very comfortable. How am I going to get my body back if you're still tied to your mother's apron strings? Let's talk about it tomorrow, okay, Erico? It's Betty by time. <laughs> 
Sorry, Daniel, but you leave me no choice. What? Erico? What am I doing outside? What's going on? It's time for you to become a man. That's what's going on. What? And there's nothing like a little wilderness experience to make a real man out of ya. You can't leave me out here in my pajamas. Real men don't need pants. But I don't have any food. Real men hunt for food. But you're eating my cereal. And I know it's hard to believe, but it's for your own good. You can do it. It's just you and me now, Mr. Tickles. We'll have to fend for ourselves until Mom gets home. But we'll never make it without food. Shades! It's like cereal for birds. Good thinking, Mr. Tickles! That's what I call a manly yell. That's a spirit, Daniel! <laughs> Don't move, Mr. Tickles. Hey! Come back here, you thief! So, what's on TV? TV! What are you, hard of hearing? I said, TV! Daniel! TV! Daniel! <laughs> that kid is never around when you need him. Okay, try to look more appetizing, Mr. Tickles. That raccoon won't capture itself. Well done, Mr. Tickles. Hey, Daniel! Hmm? How do you turn on the TV? With the remote. How did you do it before? Lights, TV, toilet. Ah, so that's why. Multiple traps. Nice work, Mr. Tickles. Now, huh? Daniel! Food! This is Mr. Tickles, and I'm Daniel. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I have to do everything myself around here. <laughs> Carrots? No thanks. Green beans? Yeah, all right. Broccoli? Seriously? Ah, finally. Food. Daniel, what's up with this pizza? It's all cold and hard. Well, it's frozen, Erico. Oh, okay, Iron Chef. So what do I do with it? Well, put it in the oven. Ah. Uh -huh. In the bathroom? No, the kitchen. Are you sure you don't want me to help you, Erico? Ha! 
you help me? I'm a man, Daniel. Real men don't need help. Wow, what is that? This is Rascal, my new pal. He taught me to clean myself, to mark my territory, and now we're going hunting! It's Frozen Erico. You want me to help you, Erico? Who needs help? I'm a man. So, the oven. Come on, Platana. You're a superstar. Nobody needs to tell you what an oven is, right? That one. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy peasy. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. What am I gonna do with you? Oven! Oh no! Daniel! Ah! That kid is never around when you need him! Come on, Platana! Real men always manage on their own! Huh? Daniel! Daniel! Okay, all hmm? right. I can't cook or turn on a TV or a light. Don't wash my clothes. Sort my trash. No, oh, or change a tire. It's good to know how to get by on your own, but knowing how to ask for help when you need it is important as well. I am so glad that you said that, Daniel. Because you're going to need some help to clean up the living room. Hmm? He's gonna be so mad at us! Us? Us? I'm just a ball, remember? Mm -hmm. Wow! Look, Erico! Rasko came back with friends to help! We're saved! Wait, are you sure? Okay, everyone! We've gotta fix everything up before Mom gets home! a time when a man must take responsibility for his actions. Or find someone else to take the fall. Eh? What? No, we can't do that to Rasko. No. 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 To think that they forced the French window open with a plastic spade. You were so brave, sweetie. Pizza and cartoons tonight, okay? Mwah. We had no choice, Daniel. Sometimes a man has to cover his tracks. I think I'd rather stay a kid a bit longer, Erico. Door! Door! You have to turn the doorknob, Erico. Hang in there, buddy. I'm gonna get you out of there. I've got you a great lawyer. <laughs> Making room. My new Platanissimo coffee machine was just delivered. Platanissimo. <gasps> Wait, that's personal! Ooh, 
why so secretive, Daniel? Ah, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Simon Bolak? You were a Simon Bolak fan? Yes, but that was before I knew you. How could you do this to me, Daniel? That imposter's playing on my team, in my position, with my number! But I'm your biggest fan now. That's all that matters, right? Have you been hiding this from me all this time? I need to be alone, Daniel. Get out of my room. Uh, this is my room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. What can I do for you to forgive me? At Simon Bolak, Erico Platana is the best player of all time. Is that enough? Huh? You can do better. Okay. And your nose is huge. <laughs> there. Now everyone knows that I'm an Erico Platana fan. Even Bolak. You happy now? Hmm. No. It'll take more than that to make up for such high treason. Aww. I'm watching you. Hmm. Hmm. Daniel? Daniel Sisu? Huh? Uh, yes? I saw your tweet. It hit me real hard, Daniel. I really miss Erico too. Uh. <laughs> and it's true. My nose is huge. <laughs> awesome room. Man, what a player. He makes us all look like amateurs. A league of his own. <gasps> Traitor! Huh? Inviting my arch enemy over? He showed up all by himself. And he loves you. <laughs> Oh, sure, keep defending him. I can see right through your little game. Come on, I swear, he means nothing to me now. Yeah? Then what's he still doing here? <laughs> Simon just wanted to see where I practice. Oh, Simon did? It's Simon now? That's just great, Daniel! That's just great! <laughs> oh. <gasps> awesome, Jim! Just awesome! Takes me back to the early days. Who does he think he is? Coach Maple, the work you're doing with these kids? Awesome! Oh? That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. Hmm. It could be awesome. Uh, Mr. Bolak? Call me Simon, Daniel. No need for formalities between Platona fans. Uh, Simon, I just wanted to say... Shh. It's okay, Daniel. I know why you brought me here, and I think it's a great idea. You do? The great Platona will have his murals soon. Fans will gather here from all over the world. Uh... You can count on me, buddy. We're gonna make the best mural ever. It's gonna be awesome, Daniel. Awesome! Nice one, Daniel. Awesome! It wasn't my fault. It's all Simon's idea. Not my problem, Daniel. It's him or me. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it, but after that, you stop whining, okay? Come on, Hazelnuts. Be expressive and give it your all. Yay! Yay! We shouldn't be afraid to get our hands dirty. Release your creativity, my little hazelnuts. Let your imagination run wild.
you think your new pal's really nice, huh? What about this, then? Is this nice? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, that is nice. So where's the problem? Exactly! There isn't one. Seems fishy to me. No <laughs> one is that nice, Daniel. No one! Uh... No one! If Eriko saw this, he'd say, No, no one, one can, can paint Platana except Picasso, Picasso and, and he's, he's no, no longer, longer alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no one can paint Platana except Picasso, and he's no longer alive. Hmm? Oh. Think you know Daniel Sisu? Well, behind those pudgy cheeks and big boyish eyes lies a terrible secret. You're so cute in all of these photos, Daniel. Awesome. You're just jealous! You know what? Maybe I like Bolak better after all! <gasps> okay, Daniel. I think we've said all we have to say. to lose your best friend! Not cool, Erico! We made the mural for you! All of this has been for you! Fine! Go on! Go run it back to Bolak! It's so majestic, Hazelnuts. You've got paint running through your veins. Awesome! Such a great job! Erico would be proud! What a nice fly agaric specimen. Oh, hi there, Daniel. Oh. What are you doing? I know what I'm not wanted, Daniel. Wait! Sure, Bolak is super nice. And yeah, we have lots in common. But that's no reason for you to pack your bags! Too late, Daniel. I hope you'll be happy with Bolak. Hey, is that Mr. Tickle? <laughs> <laughs> It's over. Farewell. Give me back, Mr. Tickle. Bolak's leaving tomorrow, you know, right after the press conference for the mural. Press conference? Press conference. Okay, I'll stay. Nice of you to be here, Erico. Well, the Great Platana can also forgive. That's what I admire about you. How did you ever prefer Bolak over me? I've always been the star player. Back then, I thought you liked to show off too much. Until the match when everything changed. Yeah! <laughs> that was the day I realized that you weren't big-headed and that you have a heart of gold. Well, that was close. Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy with the heart of gold, that's me. <laughs> You're the football player of my life, Erico. Erico! <laughs> I, I might have been a little hard on Bolak. It's okay, I forgive you. Thank you all for coming. Before we begin, I'd like to call a very special boy to the stage. Daniel, would you please join me? Don't be shy. Oh no, Daniel! Like it, right? 
Eric Oplatana is honored to have Simon Bolak playing in his position with his number. Hashtag Bolak is the best. Happy now? You could do better. Thanks, Erico. We shared so many awesome times. Hashtag awesome. Oh, no. What is that picture? Hey! Don't you dare like that! My Daniel, go on, you're almost there! What? Goal! What's she doing? Don't stop! Did you see that, Erico? I messed up, but I played with my heart. How can you be so pleased with yourself while putting in so little effort? I don't know. It comes naturally. <laughs> That wasn't a compliment! <sighs> Do you realize how lucky you are to have me as your coach? Sorry, Erico. I'll try harder! Football! 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 Hmm? Squirrel! <sighs> hmm. <clears throat> hmm. That gives me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Bend your knees. It'll be easier on your inner thighs. Speed, power, I've been watching you. You've got what it takes to be a star. Hmm. Here's my card. Call me if you want to train with a real coach. Hmm? hmm? <laughs> Back to work. Can you do me a few kick-ups? Okay. Did you see that? I beat my record. Okay, see you later. I'm gonna go and coach Larry. Hmm? What? <laughs> Not now, Cedric. You're going to coach Larry? Well, since you're taking it easy, I figured I could also train someone else. Uh, wait, wait! I'll start again! I'll try harder! <gasps> <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. I've got a stitch. If you say so. Water. Up to you. Club is that way. Uh, sorry, my bad. Larry! What? That wasn't even my fault! You know what? I've had it! I'm gonna find someone else, too! A new coach! Oh, really? And who might that be? Um. Hey there, Daniel! <laughs> Maple! I'll ask Maple! Maple? You're replacing me with Maple? Okay, you know what? We are done. From now on, I'm going to coach Larry. Oh, yeah? Fine. 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 Hmm. <laughs> um, Maple? Daniel, these potatoes sure are giving me a hard time. Would you like to be my personal trainer? Hmm. Look at this squash, Daniel. What do you see? Smiling? Yeah. The man looks at the squash, and the squash smiles. Take this watering can, Daniel. Whoa! I accept to guide you. Yeah! <laughs> Does your mom still make that excellent apple pie? Okay, you're in luck. Mm -hmm. My schedule's been cleared. We can start training right away. Come on, 30 laps of the field, 100 push-ups, and 50 pull-ups. Then we start the warm-up. Um, I don't think so. Uh, what? Uh, but, but, um, uh, uh, you don't make the rules. I'm a future star, okay? You can't replace talent. Coaches, on the other hand, poof. 
<sighs> okay, what do you want? I might have an idea or two. Um, so where does practice start? Mental preparation is key, Daniel. Oh, right. Quit worrying. You'll stress out the endives. <laughs> I ordered a pony, not a donkey. Put me... Put me through... Settle down, Caramel. Put me through to your manager! Huh? Erico! Ah! ah! Daniel. I, uh... Just came to get something out of my locker. <laughs> and, uh... How's it going with Larry? Ah, great. Perfect. He's very receptive. And you with Maple? Mm -hmm. Squashes have so much to teach us, Daniel. Uh, um, same. Huge mental preparation. Good luck with your donkey. It's not a donkey, okay? It's a pony and his name is Caramel! <laughs> Maple? Coaching is a real job, Dad! Oh, hi, Daniel. Uh, I was thinking, now that we've spread out the compost and pruned the fig trees, could we work on some passing? Of course. But first, nap time. You must always listen to your biological clock. Here's your pony. You like it? Great. Ready to practice now? Hmm. All I'm seeing is a donkey with a ribbon. What I asked for is a pony. Okay, you listen here, Blondie. I'm only gonna say this once. I've never what? seen a... I've never seen anyone improve this fast, champ. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder what you're still doing in this club. <laughs> hmm, now that you mention it... Erico. Daniel? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Erico, I've thought it over. If you'd rather coach Larry, go ahead. But I think we should give it another shot. Huh? I just can't do it. Erico? Yeah? I... I've thought it over and... Daniel, I need to talk to you. Huh? Larry's gonna transfer to a new club and, uh... He asked me to go with him. You, uh, wanted to say something? No, nothing. I hope Larry becomes a great champion. Mm -hmm. huh? Hello, I'm waiting over here. I'm not sure I should just take the number 10 jersey because although there is a one in it, like first, there's also a zero. And as for that, you know. Ah, Daniel, are you coming? It's time to read to the zucchinis. <laughs> well, somebody seems under the weather. I have... I have a friend who means a lot to me, but... but I can't seem to let him know. You can tell your friends anything, Daniel. That's what friends are for. Oh! Thanks, Maple! You really are bad at coaching, but your flat peaches are to die for. They sure are delicious. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> wow, caramel! Yeah! Let's go! I've got a coach to get back. Sorry, that's me. I love the violin. Hmm? 
Well, time to sign the contract. If anyone is opposed to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. No, oh, Caramel! It's the other way! The other way! You're really sure? Don't complain afterward, it'll be too late! Please, Caramel! It's really important! So lazy, Caramel. Yeah. Hmm? Stop! Daniel? Sisu? Don't do it! I want you to be my coach and no one else! Oopsie. Too late, Sisu. Mm. Hmm? Daniel! Never trust a man in a puffy jacket and loafers. <laughs> Monday, we're gonna start with 10 laps, some kick-up sessions, and then we're gonna work on this right foot. You got it! Uh, do you think we could keep Caramel? Nah, he's only rented. Caramel! No way! I know. At that price, it's a steal! No! That guy over there! That's the sorcerer who turned me into a ball! Some faces you never forget. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he sees us. That guy is insane! Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sorcerer. Lettuce or toaster? Hmm? Hmm. Ah. Why not both? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, boy. You're crazy to go talk to him. I mean, have you seen that guy? He does seem a little weird. But if we ask him nicely, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. A little weird? A little weird? <laughs> oh, excuse me, but I think this is my car. <laughs> I always forget. I don't have a car. <laughs> Sick? A little weird. Maybe he's in a really big hurry. Stop making excuses for him! That's right, enough excuses. Who are we talking about? Ah! Hey, I know you. You were at the supermarket. Don't you recognize me? Hmm? Eriko Platana. Hmm. The best footballer in the world? Hmm. You turned me into a ball! <laughs> you ruined my life! Nah, still nothing. Why don't you join me for dinner? <laughs> I do love company. Okay, you create a diversion, and I'll escape to the window to get help. That's rude, Erico. If we're nice and polite, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. <laughs> It's a family recipe. Dark meat or light meat? Bon appetit. Go 
try some. <laughs> Are you kidding? Come on. Mmm, tasty but light. Someone's watching their waistline. <laughs> 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 oh, what a night. You'll have to give us that recipe. Aww, you're just saying that. <laughs> Let's do this again soon, yeah? Good night, Mr. Sorcerer. You are amazing, Eriko. Another evening like that, and I'm sure he'll give you your body back. Or maybe we take matters into our own hands. Into our own hands? Because I've got his hands. Get it? You stole his hands? Stole? More like Bara. We need to give them back right away! Don't worry, he won't even notice. I mean, the guy is a bit... But you don't even know how to use them! No, I'm sure it's gonna work. Like magic. Because they're magic hands. Get it? Howdy. It's always a pleasure to see new faces in this town. Oh, yeah, it's a quiet neighborhood. I like small towns. You know, it's just more friendly. Well, maybe a little training wouldn't hurt. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You go first, Eriko. Okay, here we go. Transform jet ski. Jet ski. Jet ski. Jet ski. Mamma mia. Uh, spaghetti. It's not working, Eriko. It's never too late to apologize. We can still work this out. Thanks to the power of apology. Hmm, maybe you're right, Daniel. Maybe you're jet ski. Uh, Erico, what have you done? <laughs> Nothing, don't worry, I'll fix that. Jet ski. Ah, there it is. Erico. What's going on? Oh, no! We broke the hands! What are we gonna do, Erico? Nothing, Daniel. I think this is our life now. We'll just have to get used to it. Forget it, forget it, this'll never work. Let's give the hands back and apologize. We've got no choice. Hmm, maybe that's not a bad idea. The power of apology. Ooh, I'm in a really, really bad mood. Okay, it was a terrible idea. What do you want? It's Daniel. Oh, new hairstyle. No. We stole your hands and I was turned into a rare fish of the deep! Ah! You... you're not mad at us? No! I'll just banish you to another dimension for eternity! You can come back on weekends and school vacations. <sighs> but the tickets will be very expensive and the seat's really uncomfortable! <laughs> Stop! It's 
not his fault. I stole the hands. Leave him alone. It takes some nerve to dare to steal my hands. And a good deal of courage to own up to it. Does... does that mean you forgive us? Nah, it means I'm gonna punish both of you. <laughs> oh, no more battery. Don't worry, this will just take a moment. Then I'll punish you. Uh, is anybody hungry? <sighs> Anyone gonna finish the pasta salad? No thanks, I'm all done. Ah, we're good! They're fully charged! Punishment time! <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, I forgive you. I've stolen a hand or two as well in my time. It's about time. I never want to see that awful guy in a bathrobe ever again. <laughs> yeah, I know. He also has terrible breath. And talk about a hunchback. Hmm? Oh, what I meant was... Huh. Hey, you think it's too late to apologize? Hmm. This Daniel is 70 pounds of pure love. Fan mail is just the best. I remember when I used to write you lots of fan mail. <laughs> but you didn't even open them! What? Next you'll expect me to read them? <laughs> ah, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Breaking news. Direct from Villa Platana. An incredible press conference is happening. What? That striking nose. That profile of a Greek god. That's me! <gasps> Mr. Plutana, why these months of silence? Where have you been all this time? Do you prefer cereal or toast for breakfast? I have an announcement to make. I have decided to stop playing professional football. What? Who is this guy? I mean, he's gorgeous, but what's he talking about? He has your hair. He's in my villa! And your huge chin. Let's go, Daniel. We're gonna have a word with this phony. As soon as he opens the door, Boom! You just go for it! Hello? I'm Daniel Sisu, Erico Platana's biggest fan. Hello, Daniel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> no, I mean, you're not the real Erico. You're an imposter! <gasps> I knew this day would come. You're right, Daniel. I'm not the real Erico. I'm a professional identity thief. Professional? Puh, get over yourself. I get plastic surgery to steal the identities of influential people so I can try to make the world a better place. A better place. Selling Erico's submarine let me open a foundation to save the bees. What? My submarine? <laughs> you know that bees make honey, right? Yum. Honey. Selling his private island let me send books to thousands of children. Oh no, my private island! Books for children. You know, Daniel, for these kids, books are like windows to the world through which they can escape. Escape. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to escape without a submarine or a private island? But now that you've found me out, it's time to put an end to it all. It was a pleasure meeting you, Daniel. Here, a honeypot, and a book for a little guy that's one of a kind. See you in another life. That's right, pretty boy. Don't let the door hit you on your way out! Wait! Mm -hmm. What was that about? 
sorry, Eriko. I know it's hard to resist that ravishing smile, but there's only one Eriko Platana, and that's me! But he's such a nice guy. Mr. Imposter, I wanted to tell you... Here you go, Daniel. I made you some hot chocolate. <laughs> tell me what you think of this free hugs project. What on earth is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> And if everyone opened their piggy banks, no one would be poor anymore. We're gonna start a bust out your piggy bank operation. This is absolute genius, Daniel. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. You know, Daniel, it's the no big deals that can change the world. Psst. Mr. Imposter, I really need to tell you something. One sec, Daniel. What are you doing? I just came up with the rhyme I was looking for. That should bring a smile to little Marion's face. Hmm. You're answering all of Eriko's fan mail? With rhymes? She sent me a poem. I couldn't just leave it without an answer. Ah. You won't believe this! Mr. Irresistible changed my whole dressing room! Ha! <laughs> this guy! Eriko, <laughs> I have to tell you! Ah! This turquoise does bring out the color of my eyes. <laughs> Eriko, I don't want him to go. I told him to stay. What? I know he's not the real you, but he's nice to your fans. He's saving the world. And his hot chocolate is delicious. This guy is stealing my life, Daniel. But you don't need it right now. You're a bull. Huh. Okay, Daniel. I see whose side you're on. Now it's just you and me, you handsome sham. Combat drone, great white shark. Combat drone, great white shark. <laughs> How can you say no to those eyes? Huh? Hmm. Such a perfect body. You okay, Mr. Imposter? A great white shark. That's an endangered species. Poor thing. I'll call a marine biologist friend of mine. Erico, what have you done? I couldn't, Daniel. I love myself too much to hurt him. He wins. Huh? Eriko? Stole everything from me! Dirty thief. Good looking, crook! Eriko? Oh, you reek of pineapple juice! I thought you hated that. Oh, what do you care? I'll drink whatever I want. And the nicest guy of the year is... Erico Platana! You should be happy. Everyone is talking about you. You've even been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Who cares? Some guy's sleeping in my bed and wearing my shirts. But the whole world loves you. You've never been so popular. It's not me they love, it's him. You know what, Daniel? He's a better Erico than I'll ever be. <laughs> you were right, Daniel. Since we sent kittens to all the world leaders, wars are down by 43%. <sighs> If we add a ball of yarn, we could make that 50%. What's wrong, Daniel? Mm. I'm glad we're making the world a better place. 
But I think this is unfair to the real Eriko. I understand. But think of all the things we've accomplished. I know, but the real Eriko might be incredibly sad that you've stolen his identity and spent all his money. That's true. Even the best intentions don't excuse everything. It's your call, Daniel. Just say the word and we'll stop. I think it's time we gave Eriko his life back. It's been a real pleasure, Daniel. I'll go get my bag. Eriko? What are you doing? I'm coming for my things. Eriko Platana is finished. Don't worry, you can have your life back. I fixed everything. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. Boom! No more Platana, no more anything. Oh, no. Eriko, what did you do? I called a combat drone. Boom! I'd rather blow everything up than let that very gorgeous phony touch my stuff. But he's gone now. You can have your villa, your name, and your life back. Huh? For real? He may be nicer and more patient than you, and more generous. And his hot chocolate is heavenly. Did you forget about the combat drone? Okay, okay. What I mean is that you too can become a better person. You just need the chance. Huh? Oh no! The drone! Don't worry, I can stop it whenever I want. Facial recognition. No face detected. No face detected. It's okay, Daniel. I'm fine. I guess this is where we part ways. Time for me to find a new face. Yeah, that's right! Good riddance! Beautiful back definition, though. And don't forget, Thomas, you don't need to win to know you're the best. Kind wishes, Eriko Platana. Okay, we done? Just one more, Eriko. It's for a certain Daniel. <laughs> uh, 